This audio and meditation is specially thanks to and dedicated to my beautiful and amazing and supportive girlfriend, as she thinks. The aphorism, as a woman think in her heart, so is she. Not only embraces the whole of a woman's being, but is also so comprehensive as to reach out to every condition and circumstance of her life. A woman is literally what she thinks. Her character, being the complete sum of all her thoughts, as the plant springs from and could not be without the seed. So every act of a woman springs from the hidden seeds of thought. Act is the blossom of thought, and joy and suffering are its fruits. And then, a woman garner in the sweet and bitter fruit of her own thoughts. Woman is a growth by law and not creation by other things. And cause and effect is as absolute and undeviating in a hidden realm of thoughts. As in the world of visible and material things, a noble goddess-like character is not a thing of favor or chance, but is the natural result of continued effort in right thinking. The effect of long cherished association with goddess-like thoughts, woman is made or unmade by herself. In the armory of thought. She forges the weapons by which she destroys herself. She also fashions the tools with which she builds for herself heavenly mansions of joy and strength and peace. By the right choice and true application of thought, woman ascends to divine perfection. By the abuse and wrong application of thought, she descends below the level of the beast. Between these two extremes are all the grades of character, and woman is their maker and master. Between these two extremes are all the grades of character, and woman is their maker and master. Of all the beautiful truths pertaining to the soul, which have restored it and brought to light in this age, none is more laddening or fruitful. Of divine promise and confidence than this, that woman is the master of thoughts, the molder of character, and maker and shaper of condition, environment, and destiny. As a being of power, intelligence, and love, woman holds the key to every situation and contains within herself that transforming and regenerative agency by which she may make herself what she wills. Woman is always the master, even in her weakest and most abandoned state. But in her weakness and degeneration, she is the foolish master who misgoverns her household. When she begins to reflect upon her condition and to search diligently for the law upon which her being is established, she then becomes the wise master, directing her energies with intelligence and fashioning her thoughts to fruitful issues. Such is the conscious master, and woman can only thus become by discovering within herself the laws of thought. Which discoveries is totally a matter of application, self-analysis, and experience. Only by much searching and mining are gold and diamonds obtained, and woman can find every truth connected with her being if she will dig deep into the mind of her soul. And that, she is the maker of her character, the molder of her life. And the builder of her destiny, she may unerringly prove if she will watch, control, and alter her thoughts, tracing 
their efforts upon herself, upon others, and upon her life and circumstances, linking cause and effect by patient practice and investigation, and utilizing her very experience even to the most trivial, everyday small things, as a means of attaining the knowledge of herself, which is understanding, wisdom, calm, power. In this direction, as in no other, is a law absolute that she that seeketh findeth, and to her that knocketh it shall be opened. For only by patience, practice, and ceaseless persistence can a woman enter the door of the temple of knowledge. The end of chapter one. As she thinks. Thank you.